Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today I'm back in Dallas, Texas with my friend Molly. Hey y'all. Let's, Let's go, go thrifting. thrifting. We started out the thrift giant in Dallas at 9 a.m. We were wondering why this place was so crowded. I mean, the parking lot is insane. The place opened 10 minutes ago. We realize it's 50% off day. Yay! Molly, what are you looking for? Anything in particular? Well, I'm going to keep my eye out for anything that you've taught me so far on the show. Anything that has great value that I've already learned about, like Starbucks City Cups. <laughs> you know, I'm not allowed to go buy mugs anymore. Look at that cute... The that cake is plate? real. Like a bunt cake plate. How cute is that? Let's take it down and see what it looks like. Is it heavy? Yes, it's heavy. Ooh. Oh. Let's turn it over and see. I don't know how old that is. Um, that looks kind of on the new side, but it's really kind of neat. How much is it? 1981? I don't think so. No. Even with half off, I wouldn't pay that. So we are impressed. Yeah. Let's go over, check over the hard goods. Uh-oh, look. <laughs> okay, this is unusual because it's Lego. Mm -hmm. Um, I would actually, I'm going to look this up. Molly took some pictures of me while I was trying to look up the comps for this stupid ass mug, which was not worth my time. It's super soft. Um, things that I've sold, like, by the way, Afghans have made a big comeback, especially these handmade ones that, you know, that some is, grandma has made. Those colors are amazing. They're beautiful, very 70s, right? Yeah. That zigzag pattern is very popular and it actually does pretty well. I just couldn't pack it in my luggage if I were to buy it there. Molly found these super cute Ferragamo ballet flats and the only issue I really had with them was the fact that that sensor was put right through the shoe so I didn't think I could get much for them. I did find one pair up for sale for $129. You're doing that. Okay. okay. Let's see. Well, how do I do it? Okay. So you're on go to Google Lens. The app? Um, just go to Google and that right there. And now that. And now point towards it. Here, I'll hold on. And take a picture. And then at the bottom, it'll start finding the shoes. Oh, look, I found them on walmart.com for $20. Okay, yeah, we are leaving those behind. Okay, so what did you think of Thrift Giant? It was very, very crowded. Because it was half off day. Yes, but it was hard to even yeah. see anything. And it mainly it was really overpriced, yeah. Even on him, well, that's why everyone's here on Hill Price Day, right? <laughs> and even there, it's kind of still, wow. Um, so we've got another place to go to. Hey everyone, we're at Genesis Thrift Shop here in Dallas, which is a thrift store that benefits a women's shelter here. So we're gonna go check it out, right? Yep, we're excited. This thrift shop had a lot of high quality merchandise and it was beautifully laid out. I found these really pretty Prada chunk heels. They were $40. This shop actually was laid out similar to what I remember the Bombay Company, which was an old mall store uh, to, to look like. They had things like this, like a bar set globe, um, but $200 is a lot, especially when you can find it for the same price or, or less online. They had everything really neatly organized. 
the china and kitchenware in a certain area, the uh, living room and paintings, all of that stuff in another area. Uh, but it flowed beautifully. And then obviously all the clothing, which a lot of it was even color coded, really well done. And I loved this pot. I wish it was something I could have taken home for only $40. It's a great planter. I saw this alabaster vase up above and I just thought it was really pretty. Uh, it was made in Turkey, but there was no price on it, which was unusual. And then I did a Google search and I found it was $36 if you wanted to buy it online. This place is nice. It's really good. Yeah. I found this unusual piece of pottery and when I was in the store I couldn't read it. Now I see that someone named Bobby made it. Nice work, Bobby. How much is it? It doesn't have a price on it. Oh, yeah, it oh, does. $7. $7. It's cute. It is cute. My mother would, um, oh my gosh, it's plastic. <laughs> or melamine, right? How funny. Look how pretty them. There are two. Oh, and there are bowls, too. Wow. That is great. Cool. <laughs> Edison uh, salt oh, those chandeliers. Are nice. Those are gorgeous. Three of those over an island. Yeah, and they're only twenty-five dollars each. Yeah, that's a good find. Wait, one of them is fifteen. That's unbelievable. Those are really cool looking. Similar lighting I found online goes for two hundred and forty-five dollars each. So those were a really good deal. With leggings, wouldn't that be cute? She would love that. 12 bucks. It's new with tags. Let me see this. There's a pull right there. Oh. But, and there's a little one here. But that. Isn't it cute? That's, that cute. is totally her, too. Yeah. And it's soft. Mm hmm. Got your holiday pick, holiday outfits picked out. <laughs> Those are so great. Hey everyone, I have to say this is a find in Dallas. You want to come to this store. There's so many great items. It's beautifully curated. It's one of those places that you're going to just be surprised at every turn. It's great. So come to Genesis Thrift Shop in Dallas. So Molly, tell me about your thoughts about today's thrifting trip. You know, that second thrift store that we went to. Genesis. Genesis House. When you go in there and you see all of the designer clothes in every size, in every color, formal dresses, shoes in every color and every size, you realize there's really no reason to buy anything new. It's a little bit gross to buy new when you see all of those clothes, many with tags still on them for a fraction of the price. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep, keep on, on thrifting. thrifting.